So I'm gonna start things off and just say what's up. Hope you guys are doing well. Wherever you are in the world watching this, uh, Epic Games came to me and wanted to sponsor a video of me playing the latest DLC, which is Sam's Story. It is actually a, uh, a follow-up to the ending of the original Metro Exodus story. Uh, originally when I played it, I was on Xbox last year. It's like early on in 2019, I played and beat the game. Uh, they came to me and wanted to sponsor this video, and also to tell you guys that it's available on PC uh, through the Epic Game Store. So if you don't know more about it, just click the link. It should be at the very, very top of the description. I'm also going to give away two copies of Metro Exodus, like the base game. Uh, if I can get the season pass, that's great. But any system preference, if you guys want to, I guess, chance to win and see the like the video or leave a comment of when you found my channel. If you watched me play the original game, thank you. <laughs> if you didn't, also thank you for watching this one. So, um, gonna start it up. You guys rock. Let's give this a shot. Parting with my friends. It's hard. But... For them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold. Between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. A lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet, every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. step at a time, slowly but steadily, no matter the obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day, but not here, not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. Привет, Владивосток. All right, nice. Here we are. All right, let me get my controls down. We get the holster. Checking that. Uh, flashlight. Let me see what... Do I have a backpack? Yeah, we got the backpack still. I wonder if all my materials... Well, actually, I keep forgetting I played on Xbox, so none of my stuff would actually be here. Uh, what do we have here? We don't have enough to craft... Dismantle craft, so I... Yeah, I... Yeah, you need a lot more materials. So you start off... It's a basically a standalone area. Just wanted to see, like, what we got. What are we rocking here? Okay, everything seems to be in order. Kind of getting my bearings back. It's been a while since I've played this game, so forgive me. Man, the game plays a lot smoother on, uh... I, I recently started getting into PC gaming, so I'm still kind of... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, let me make sure I'm searching. Uh, I could use this. Let me double check over here really quick. Materials in this game were a big part. 
It's just basically like the survival horror type feel. Okay, going through here, it wouldn't really matter. Oh wow, you can't go back through there. Hold on, let's go back here. Game's a lot more snappy. I guess the frame rate or something is just a lot better on PC. I'm playing on like ultra settings, but I would still use a... I'm not good with a mouse and keyboard yet, unless I'm forced to use it. So, uh, I'm using a controller. <laughs> That's how it is. This apparently gives you a new sandbox area to play in, so... Oh, we got a bridge. They call that... I don't know if... And I got like a little bulletin of like some of the new things. I don't have to even say these, but... Uh, called it the Gold Gate Bridge. I, I almost called it the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I don't know if that's it or not. It does look pretty cool, though. Get lost, uh oh, hold on. Let's look around for some materials. What else would you have me do? I guess that's all. I'm not greedy. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry. We ain't gonna kill you. The kingpin wants you alive. And how do you know what he wants? Uh... Should I go stealth mode here? Or... Much obliged! Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh my god. Fuck, I didn't think grabbing the I backpack. I think you got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here need that. and let's talk! Alright! So nobody else has any- oh, hold on. What is that? Hmm. I like the guns I currently have, they feel nice. Oh yeah, my screen? Hold on, uh... I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to use my health early on, but I feel like I'm going to have to. <laughs> this is going to be rough. I wonder if I have enough to actually... Hold on. Let me just double check. I don't know how much I... Okay, I can craft one of these now. Not that I probably should have, but whatever. I'd rather have some health than no health. Basically, just collect everything I can find. I really appreciate you guys supporting me doing these promotional things. I was always Not nervous back in the day, you know. What the hell? You but it's just I, I like to do this to help my family and stuff, so it really means a lot you to me. Take a dive. Hey, put your gun down. Hey. Take it easy. I just helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Man, the FOV and everything in this game, or not the... I guess it's because I'm playing on a big monitor. I don't know. This looks amazing. Let me double check up here, cause any kind of chemicals and stuff I can Get find, over here. I'll take it. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. Uh. Yep, here we go. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me. Oh my god, what in the world? Oh my goodness! Get out of here, you 
That's like some gargoyle type stuff. Oh my god. Yeah, time to run. That wasn't in the original game. Oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna... Gimme. Give Gimme give all you got, please. Are we good? Yo, this is crazy. Oh my, get off me! Are you kidding? Obviously, I gotta kill the big one. Please tell me that's all of it. I'm like nervous because I need to craft? I'm out of health. Oh my god. I don't have enough. Come on, man. I can't defend myself. Hopefully, that did it. Am I able to hop down right here? Like, I feel like I can make this jump. Get off me. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, about this. Okay, there's health here. Oh, the game knows you're about to get wrecked, so they give you five med kits. Nice. My only worry is ammo now. It's not like these bat things can drop bullets. <laughs> I mean, unless. I got 28 shots left. I wonder if the range is on this thing. I don't know if this has always been a thing. Has this game never had like a HUD thing before? Or at least sometimes it's not there, but it's only when I have out certain guns and stuff. I, it's been a while since I played this game, so forgive me. Oh my god. We're going for a ride, baby. Crazy, like part of a cutscene makes you use a med kit. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. So. What just happened? Did I just drown? Oh, that's right. You can't, like, go in the water in this game sometimes. Alright. Makes sense, I guess. I'm kind of nervous, like, running around this area like this. Oh, so one thing I did do after I uh, played Metro Exodus, I went and bought these, like, novels. This isn't, like, a plug or anything, but I actually was reading the, uh... It's like the person who wrote the stories for these games. Metro 2033, stuff like that. It's actually kind of cool. Hold on, let's see what's over here. Ugh, what in the world? Oh, God! This game's got everything! Everything's out to get you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we're not going that way. Like, what else is gonna come at me? I forgot about all the enemies, too. I remember that, that big fish thing in the water. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a fun experience. People always tell me they like when I play horror games. I don't know if this really qualifies or not, but... It feels like it. <laughs> it's up there when the survival horror. When you got low ammo and bullets. <clears throat> Come and take it, you bastards! Come and take it! 
You're coming. With us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! Go to hell! And stay down! Oh my god! You fucker! Nope! Piss off! That was a taser's got me! Not so tough anymore, huh? Fuck off! Uh, fuck! Fuck! Ouch. I thought I was about to, like, move and let him hit the other guy, but life's not, uh, full of fairy tales like that. <laughs> Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill you! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies before the war. He could have seen some too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? From Moscow. Look, aren't you an American, pal? <laughs> No, I'm a Buryat. All right. You got me. I am an American. <laughs> there you have it. No shit. Duh. No wonder you gave us so much trouble before we met. It's just not my day. Moi din sagudnya. Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey, guys! Turns out we caught an American! We'd better call Cap down and report! Base, delivery here. Patch me through to Kent. I got news for you. Alright, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there? I do. It's clouds. <laughs> Clouds! This is a storm, pal! Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Delivery. The boss is back on the bridge. Switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We nabbed the guy who was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, are you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss. He swore like you on a bad day. Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will ya? Okay, I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Oh, wow. Just... Wow. Yeah. I have trouble believing it myself. I'll be damned. Uh, listen up, delivery. Here. Change the plan. He is my guest. Do you get that? Uh, bring him over, quick. Yes, boss. Well, didn't we make a splash? Now tell me. Who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, 
It's the boss. Is that him? Yeah, it's me! Well, hello there! Why are you still tied up? Huh? A moment! Please, come aboard! Take the guest to the gangway! Yes, boss. Shit, we pissed the cat off. We should have taken the rope off. Then we get queued up for acting on our own. Yeah, there's just no making the cat happy. It's not our day. <laughs> The guy seemed alright, you know? Seemed kinda nice on the outside, but it's probably like a menace, you know? Well, Your Highness, we've arrived. Come aboard. Yo, what's that at the end? A person with like dual akimbo assault rifles or something. Probably not. I don't have any of any of my stuff. Yeah, I can't do anything other than just walk, so here we go. I'll say this, if we get like 10,000 likes on this video, I'll probably do a part two. I would like to, I mean, I don't know how long these DLCs are, but even if it's just a handful of videos, I would definitely like to, uh... Really, you can turn off the lights? Why? It's cool type stuff. There's a guy right there, I think. Oh, I thought this guy was holding like a Kimbo gun. Mayflower submarine, man. It's so dark right here. Damn, am I happy to see you. Haven't met another American in 23 years. Name's Tom, by the way. Nice to meet you too, Tom. Is this ship yours? Can I book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, truly, a heaven on earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course, that was hell. <clears throat> Look, man, uh, remind me, what was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right, oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners, if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clem, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the applied force department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochen priyatno, Clem. Guess I'm supposed to sit down? Clem's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The dock deflects the wind somewhat, but still, just look at that. Yeah, had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though wait, uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, and with him, the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. Uh, so you're looking for someone to take you home? Yeah. 
People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get this submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Uh, yeah, I'm a drink. Even well, though it's probably I gonna am kill in me. a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Good a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Klim handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, Enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Klim's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> Then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along. And the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How is he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman. Just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force. A new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything. And accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. <laughs> oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. 
<laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part, the map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave her. Just leave her. Bye. Man, that was, uh... I was kind of surprised at how much story we just got. You know? That was a long conversation. And it kind of built up the whole, like, I guess, DLC. Oh, they're talking right now, Clem and, uh, Mr. Tom himself. Uh, I guess I'm just leaving? I don't know. Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. All right, it's shooting range way. time. Let's Cross go. The beach. Guess I want to make sure I'm actually decent with a gun, but little do they know, I haven't played this game in over a year. It seems like they're <laughs> close to it. Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. You should go to the range. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Damn it. Here we go. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam. So I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. Here's your Ooh, hold on. Good luck. Uh, we're gonna get this that side. I'm going. Should not just feel familiar. It's the real McCoy, a 45 automatic, straight from Tom's premium store. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real marine in action. Yeah. What? Good. Let's reload while we can. Wait, what? Oh, I guess. Okay. Maybe you don't- they don't go down immediately, you have to wait. I should make this easier show. Automatic is the way to go. I'm surprised how detailed this actual story has been so far. Great shot! Oh no, come on. Got it. I need more practice with this thing. That was a solid attempt, but perhaps you'd like to try again? Need more ammo? Here you go. What? Thought I did all right. I mean, let's do it again. I'll do one more attempt, all right? Yes. Another try won't hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. Nice. 
I think the problem with the uh, the pistol, maybe you gotta shoot some of these more than once. Oh, uh, they're starting to uh, take their positions here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I can kind of get a grasp now. I mean, if I hit all of them, hopefully they still tell me that I got them all. Otherwise, what's the point? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, this game plays so good. Like I, I, it's been a long time. <laughs> Let's find fine Oh, there's one in the back. I forgot about that one. That's what I call real shooting. That should do it, right? All right, we're good. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. Ooh, flame. Oh, flame day's work. Incinerary well, bolts. I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Daniela. See you around. Right, before we do anything, we don't really need the bench. Uh, hold on. Ah, uh, everything else is good. My only concern right now is health. Uh, I guess I could make a little bit of that. <laughs> why? Why not? You know. All right, I think we're good. I forgot that this game you can hold ammo for stuff that you don't actually use. You know. So, did you get geared up? <coughs> Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff. <coughs> yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Nice. So now what do we do? Just leave? Come on, we've been here a hundred times already. All right. I think we're good. Finally. I can't run or have my gun out around this area. It just seems like a, it's just a safe haven, basically. But I have a weird feeling about it since the way they captured me. You know, it was kind of rough. Hey, look, is that American? Yeah. What are you talking about? Everybody's just staring at me, making me nervous. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see We're him still again, checking. tell him. But yes, tell him we haven't forgotten the thing he's done for us. Any suspects? Yeah, there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him, and locked himself up in his cabin. The guys are trying to get him out. Hmm. Uh, Maybe a side I quest know. later on. You don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business. I'm getting, I'm getting pushed! I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, sorry, none of us really expected to see any American save for Tom. That was kind of weird, I got so, pushed like how's that. how's it going? Any progress? No dice. The Sapperto. No uh, matter. We'll get him soon enough. <laughs> but I didn't steal anything. That's the one that locked himself in the cabin. Yeah, oh, the cabin. Right. I, mean. I like your tail. Let's hear some more. <laughs> I guess I'll stay and watch then. Get some popcorn. It's gonna get really exciting when we open this fucking lock. I'm not even supposed to be anywhere near here. All right, let's head back. Looks like we'll probably have to take like a boat to get over there, or we can go along the shoreline, it looks like. I don't know. We'll find out. Thought I was going the right way. Um alright. And we we're ready to follow moved him around anyway. the entire area. We haven't been so back here though yet. He did let you pass off the roll? Oh yeah, I can't go over here. This is good stuff. What the sip? Ah, oh, thanks. I don't want to spoil the taste of my smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly look the part. 
Where do I go? That's the question. I, I see the icon where like the X is. The little question marks are just like little side things. Uncle Sam, how the holds us here. I guess I'll look around over here one more time. My thought was maybe that door at the end I could walk through it, but it's locked. Oh, I haven't been here yet. There's the boat. All right, we're good. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. <laughs> also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. All right, here we go. This game just has such a cool, like, environment, you know? Oh my god, there's one of those things. What in the world? Shit. That was close. All right, we're going... I don't want to go full speed. I'm trying to just take it easy, guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to get get clapped. All right. A no wake zone is what I'm gonna assume right here. Reading you loud and clear, Tom. Double check and make sure there's not a side thing. Okay, there's one in front of me. I want to go full speed just to try it, but I do not want to have any accidents. What is that up there? Um. All right. So should we stop here? I don't know if I have any. I got like one filter, maybe. Drive through here first. I can actually hit this if I have to come. If I have to bring the boat back, oh my god. If I have to bring the boat back, I'll just hit on the way back. I hope that's a statue in the water and not like some kind of concrete Colossus X Men type thing I gotta fight. Looks like I can dock right here. Oh, look at the top of the building on the left up there. I can't, like, look directly at it without it bringing me back over here, so. Yep, this is where we're supposed to go. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here. Um, I guess if you guys want a part two, just destroy that like button. I'm just gonna kind of see how this video does. Uh, we just got to this new area. I'm gonna save my game. Uh, and then see what happens. So, alright guys, I love you. Uh, if you want to know more about this game, just click the link. It should be at the very, very top of the description. And, uh, I love you guys. Take it easy.